Hi, this is John Clifford and what I'm going to talk to you about is using different types of texturing techniques on different aspects of your haircut. Obviously there's many different lengths of haircut and I wanted to go through some techniques we can use on longer hair as well as some techniques we can use on shorter hair and the different kind of results that you'll get from each one. So next we're going to be going straight to the mannequin and we'll have a look at some techniques. So. I'm just going to show you a few techniques that I like to use on long hair first of all and then describe how they can be used on shorter hair as well. If we want to remove layers from the outside of the hair only, we're going to go in with a very flat blade and slowly take our hair out. Obviously we'll be using blade glider with this on a real client because we, you know, we don't want them to feel any pulling or tugging and blade glide definitely helps us cut with a razor, it's a fabulous product. Anyway, if we wanted to put more texture just in the ends of the hair, we're going to hold the ends, go in with our razor, and slightly change the angle and just texturize the end of the hair. We're not taking off length, which you can easily do by using a flat blade. We're just going in and taking sections of that length out, but leaving the majority of the length behind. The other technique that I like to use a lot on particularly more wavy hair and longer hair for sure, is to help you get that beachy wave look. So I like to twist the hair up and then slowly run my razor down the hair and let the hair untwist as we run the razor through. This will give you a lot of texture but there will be no hard lines within the section. It's going to be very, very soft and subtle. So like I said, if you like to do those beachy waves, that salted, day at the beach, fresh, curly, wavy look, this is what I like to do. There are many products that help you do that, but a lot of people don't have the hair that's conducive for that kind of look. So again, twist the hair up, run your razor through, get it as textured as you want. As a rule, I don't like to normally go above halfway up the hair shaft. But depending on what your client wants, sometimes we may need to do that. They may want shorter layers up here. So to me, this is a fabulous technique for doing that. On shorter hair, if we want to add a lot of detail, I tend to cut from one side to the other over my fingers, particularly on bottom lines, um, say an asymmetrical bob or something like that, where we're trying to get somewhat of a solid line but slightly broken up. I will hold my hair flat and cut from side to the front. This will give me a clean line but not a blunt line like shears. The other technique I use a lot on shorter hair is if we're going through the bangs and this is just in, cut, break up any weight that you want to get rid of but again this is going to be in the bang fringe area and it helps you see through and get balance of the overall shape of the haircut. So I want you to try some of these techniques out, use your Jatai razors, definitely play with it, try everything out on a mannequin before you try it on real people, and definitely before you try it on your client, get some blade glide because that's going to make your life a whole lot easier. So good luck and I wish you success with your razor cutting.